Hello again. I'm not, as I have remarked before, an opponent of vaccinations. I grew up in an era where many thousands of people died each year in Britain from infectious diseases and many others were paralysed or otherwise disabled. In 1950, for instance, no fewer than 11,000 people died in this country from tuberculosis. As late as 1961, there were three quarters of a million cases of measles in Britain, resulting in quite a few deaths among children. Programmes of vaccination have consigned such things to the history books, for which I am very grateful. Nevertheless, I cannot help but raise my eyebrows at the prospect of vaccinations becoming something which we need several times a year instead of just a handful of times during the course of our lives. To put the matter in perspective, over the course of 30 years, between, say, 1970 and about the year 2000, I had just two vaccinations. One of these was for smallpox, because I was travelling to an area where that disease was endemic, and the other for tetanus after I had a puncture wound. That was it. Two injections in 30 years. I think that this was pretty average at that time. That was about par for the course for most adults. In recent years, the number of vaccinations which people have had has increased dramatically. Children are given a number of injections in childhood and old people are also vaccinated every year against the latest variant of influenza. I don't say that this is a bad thing, merely different from how it was in the past. This process has accelerated over the last year until almost every adult in the country is likely to have had three injections and those over the age of 60, four. It is now being suggested that even five-year-old children would benefit from being vaccinated against COVID-19. I can't help wondering if this year is just a freakish exception or whether this is the shape of things to come. There isn't the least doubt that other variants of both COVID-19 and influenza will crop up in the coming months. It's in the nature of viruses. Will there be a fresh wave of vaccination against new variants of these diseases? If so, how long is this going to last? In short, are we entering an age when injections are to be a regular event in our lives, taking place not twice in 30 years, as was once the case, but perhaps twice or three times a year instead? I do not say, again, that this would be a bad thing, merely that it is a new thing. That is to say, a situation which we have never been in before. Perhaps it will be necessary and is a wise move to control an epidemic. After all, we were happy enough to see polio controlled in this way in the late 1950s and early 1960s, and a great blessing that campaign proved in saving lives and preventing children from becoming crippled or confined to iron lungs. I think what I'm driving at is this. We are being presented with a new situation regarding vaccines and injections, and I do not think it unreasonable that people should be able to ask questions about what is happening without being branded anti-vaxxers or conspiracy theorists. I am neither, and am in general favourably inclined towards vaccinations. This doesn't mean, though, that I feel obliged to accept a new way of life without making quite sure in my own mind that a change is necessary and that the two vaccines I had in 30 years are no longer what medical science views as a sensible and prudent way of living my life. I'm quite willing to be persuaded about this, but certainly reserve the right to ask some searching questions before abandoning my old ideas on the subject.